Picture this. It's not in a lab. It's not in Silicon Valley's latest longevity startup. It's in a tiny fishing village on an island south of Japan. Imagine a foggy morning on a rocky Japanese coast in 1975. A young cardiologist drives out to check on an old lighthouse keeper who supposedly still makes the rounds. He expects to find a frail, stooped figure. Instead, he meets a spry 100-year-old who still climbs the tower daily to polish the lamp and mend the sails. No fuss, no fanfare. That sight stuck with the doctor and set him off on a decades-long search to understand why some people grow old and remain vital, while most of us don't. Fast forward a few years to a cramped university lab in Tokyo. Another scientist, Dr. Yoshinori Osumi, was staring at yeast cells under a microscope. He noticed something weird. Sometimes, when the cells were short on nutrients, they started eating themselves. At first, it sounded like destruction until he realized it was renewal. These cells weren't dying. They were cleaning the house, recycling, repairing. He had discovered autophagy, literally self-eating, but in reality, it's your body's most powerful cleanup system. Think of autophagy like your body's internal janitorial crew. Every night, these microscopic workers clock in to sweep out broken mitochondria, oxidized fats, misfolded proteins, and all the junk that makes you feel older, slower, inflamed. And when they're done, you wake up with newer, stronger, more efficient cells. That's the biological equivalent of a factory renovation. The same building, better machines. Dr. Osumi's work eventually won him the 2016 Nobel Prize in Medicine, but here's the twist. The people of Okinawa had been activating this system for generations long before any scientist named it. So how do you flip that switch? The secret isn't in what you add, it's in what you stop doing. Autophagy only activates when your body senses a mild challenge, a signal that says, we might be low on resources, time to get efficient. But modern life sends the opposite message every few hours. Snacks, coffee with sugar, midnight meals. Constant eating keeps your body in process new fuel mode, leaving no time for maintenance. Imagine running a restaurant that never closes. The kitchen staff is constantly cooking, never cleaning. Eventually, the grease builds up. That's your cells when you never give them a break. The Okinawan centenarians, without realizing it, were giving their bodies the break every day through an old Confucian principle called harahachi, but eat until you're eight parts full. That gentle pause, the moment you could eat more, but choose not to, is what sets the cleanup crew in motion. Modern research now backs this ancient habit. When you stop eating for about 14 to 16 hours, your insulin drops, your growth hormone rises, and your cells switch into recycling mode. That's the window when autophagy peaks. Most people hit it in the final hours before breakfast if they don't break the fast too early. That's why many longevity experts, from Dr. David Sinclair to Dr. Rhonda Patrick, recommend a simple rhythm. Finish your last meal by 6 or 7 p.m. Sleep. Delay your first solid meal until 10 or 11 a.m. You don't have to count calories. You're simply aligning with your body's natural clock, what scientists call circadian fasting. Your body shifts from growth and storage to repair and rejuvenation. The foods that supercharge cellular repair. Now, fasting flips the switch, but what you eat when you do eat determines how well that cleanup crew performs. The Okinawan diet isn't about restriction. It's colorful, full of life. Let's break it down. 1. Purple Sweet Potatoes Their bright color comes from anthocyanins, powerful antioxidants that protect your cells while autophagy is active. They release energy slowly, keeping insulin low. 2. Sea Vegetables Seaweed, kelp, wakame rich in iodine and minerals that help detox pathways. 3. Fermented soy. Like miso and natto, these feed your gut bacteria, which directly regulate inflammation and metabolism. 4. Bitter melon. Lowers blood sugar naturally and keeps insulin spikes in check. 5. Green tea. Packed with EGCG, a compound that enhances autophagy and protects cells from oxidative stress. And here's something fascinating. Studies show that polyphenols in green tea and black coffee mimic fasting's effects, slightly stressing the body to activate repair pathways. That's why a cup of unsweetened green tea during your fasting window doesn't just not break the fast, it actually makes it more effective. Dr. Hiromi Shinya, a Japanese-American gastroenterologist, 
discovered this firsthand after examining over 300,000 colons. He could literally see who was aging gracefully and who wasn't just by the shape and tone of their gut. People eating ultra-processed foods had short, inflamed digestive tracts. People on traditional, plant-rich diets had clean, elastic, youthful ones. And the biggest difference? Rest. Your gut, like every organ, needs downtime to repair. When you eat late at night or graze all day, it never gets that rest. But when you finish dinner early and fast through the morning, your gut lining regenerates, your liver detoxes, your microbiome resets. Let's put this all together. Here's a modern version of what those long-lived Okinawans do intuitively. 1. Eat in a compressed window. 12 to 16 hours of fasting daily, even just skipping late-night snacks, triggers autophagy. 2. Prioritize plant-based, colorful meals. Think roots, greens, beans, tofu, seaweed foods that stabilize insulin and reduce oxidative stress. 3. Stop at 80% full. That's when your body feels light, alert, and ready to clean up internally. 4. Replace constant coffee and snacks with tea rituals. Green tea, jasmine, or oolong, each sip delivers antioxidants that support repair. 5. Sleep with an empty stomach. That's when the cleanup crew works hardest between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. Your cells are in deep repair mode. There's one last thing those Okinawan elders had that no supplement can replace attitude. They have a word for it, ikigai, your reason for waking up in the morning. Because yes, fasting and food are powerful, but stress, loneliness, and hopelessness shut down those same longevity pathways. When you combine autophagy activation with ikigai, community, and movement, you're not just extending your life, you're enriching it. So here's what you can do tonight. Finish dinner by seven, sip tea, not snacks. Sleep well. In the morning, let your body stay in that fasted state a little longer. Maybe have black coffee or green tea. And when you finally break your fast, start light with real food. Because the same biological machinery that kept Okinawan villagers vibrant into their hundreds is sitting quietly inside you right now, waiting for you to flip the switch. If you found this inspiring, hit subscribe, because in the next video, we'll break down how sleep, light, and movement unlock the next layer of your body's built-in anti-aging system. Until then, remember, you don't need to live longer. You just need to live cleaner.